had the idea that that this building was was really coming out of the ground, sort of emerging from the ground and reaching towards the heavens. And that idea of sort of the building tapering, turning and twisting and tapering, gave it that dynamic form that actually moved it up, you know, towards the heavens, if you will. It was really about you know, sort of the emergence of, of Shanghai in particular as a financial center, but also the, I should say, the more the re-emergence of China as a, as a global sort of political and economic force. Most commercial office buildings are not accessible by sort of the general population. This particular building, the idea was that these neighborhoods and parts in the building would in fact be accessible. You might have concerts, you might have, you know, art shows, you might have dance or whatever it may be, but the same kind of things that you would find in the parks of Shanghai would be in the parks in this building and that people would be able to come to the building, access these areas, and along with these parks you'd have other amenities. You'd have, you know, food service amenities, entertainment amenities. So it was the idea that you could actually come into the building and this is an extension of the city. You have 20 to 30,000 people in this building, which is really equivalent to a small city. So the idea that people in the building could access these different venues, right? To be able to go from park to park, to be able to go to different food service venues, and not necessarily have to leave, leave the building. It really leads to sort of the idea of planning cities more from a vertical perspective.